Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Tuesday, October 1st, 2019. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't as this is a general reading. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. Also keep in mind that this reading is timeless. Why? Say it with me. Time is an illusion. Energies are fluid. Yes. So, excuse me. <coughs> so whenever you watch this and this resonates for you, please just take it as a, as a message for you at that time. Yes. Um, I want to first, before I start, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my crystal setup has changed here. It's expanded. Yes. Um, a big shout out to Stella giving you a shout out, putting you on blast here because of these beautiful crystals that she has sent me. Um, there's so many of them. Uh, there's this bumblebee jasper right here. That one, that little one right there. This amethyst right here. Um, there are a, num a few of them that I don't know the name of, like this one right now. I don't remember the name of this one here right now, but I love that one. There's some black tourmaline here. Obviously, we have some this big old selenite tower. I got some citrine yesterday, um, clear quartz, chrysoprase, bloodstone, another piece of clear quartz. I mean, I am so incredibly grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, this is beautiful. I, I couldn't and it's funny because a few months ago I was like, wow, you know, I really want to I really want to like upgrade my my crystal game here step my crystal game up and The universe has delivered. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much I am so incredibly grateful Okay, guys, so it's the first of October. All right Welcome to the, welcome to the wind down of the year. Yes, we've got Halloween coming and then we've got the holiday season. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> it's not. It's just the holiday season, guys. We're not going to freak out. It's just the holiday season, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. But anyway, I mean, this is the, the final three, two, one of the year. And then we're moving into 2020. So this is... <sighs> It's interesting. This sure has been an interesting year, hasn't it, guys? All right. So with all of that said, let's get into today's messages. Yes. So we I have our pre-shuffle here. Started with the nine of wands. And I was like, good God, really, spirit? Like the nine of wands? And they were like, yep, sure is the nine of wands. There is definitely a need to persevere. This, this energy has been a, around us a lot lately um for the most part you know that energy has been speaking towards counterparts maybe and like you know that type of situation but this feels more on a universal scale this feels this nine of wands energy feels way more than um well okay spirit just said way more than meets the eye and yeah all right way more than meets the eye there is so much more happening for us individually as we ascend as we transcend as we you know basically as we wake up as um a community as a society as a race uh, you know the human race and all that um <clears throat> a species i guess whatever species um but okay so i was like all right spirit so Okay, nine of wands. Yeah, perseverance. Okay, we're definitely in. We're definitely this wounded warrior tribe. Um, I almost, I almost want to coin that, but at the same time, I don't, because <laughs> I'm not trying to rock around here being known as the wounded warrior. Like, I mean, we're all wounded warriors. Blah blah blah, whatnot, whatever. But I'm not so sure that's a title I want to wear <laughs> so readily. I don't know. You guys. You, you guys tell me how you feel about it. Or if you're cool with being called the Wounded Warrior Tribe or not, I'm not so sure about it. I, I, I take it or leave it. I could probably leave it, <laughs> but okay. So then I was like, all right, Spirit, can you give us a little bit more? What is going on with this Nine of Wands energy? And the devil popped out. And this is where I'm talking about, um, especially with the Seven of Wands so far. I'll show you the other side of the deck so far. But overall energy, we have the Seven of Wands, all right? So Nine of Wands, the Devil, overall energy of the Seven of Wands. There are fears. There is anxiety. I really kind of feel like this is more than just 
our minds running amok. This, I do feel like this is external manipulation, whether it be physical beings in the external world or non-physical beings. Although, however, I do, I get a strong feeling that this has a lot to do with non-physical manipulation. Because like I said, as we are starting to wake up as a group, a collective, a society, whatnot, whatever, it's like the red flags are going up the 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 the, the warning signs are happening the, the 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 you know all that stuff but for those of for those on the, in the non-physical that have been you know the the um orchestrators of this matrix situation of all this mind control that's been happening of all this manipulation of humanity um, they're starting, the red flags are going up because they're like, whoa, 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 we gotta, we gotta, we gotta nip this in the bud. Four of wands, solid foundation. And what I'm feeling with this four of wands here is an energy of having a solid foundation built. And now we're just kind of in this phase. I say this all the time. We're in this phase in which we're building our house. Yes, we have the so the foundation has been poured. It's now set, okay? Uh, well, it's dried, but now it needs to settle, right? It's set, now it needs to settle into the, the, the surrounding soil before we can continue to build the house. And actually, I just did a personal reading with someone yesterday and we were talking about this, okay? Um, so I do feel like there is some sort of external manipulation to try and get us off our path, to try and throw us off of this foundation that we have laid for ourselves. Um, now, you could look at it as, you could look at this as, look at this as one of two ways. One, you could look at it as we have these external forces, um, these certain non-physical beings that are in power at the moment that have, uh, you know, the monop the most, uh, they have a monopoly, a monopoly on humanity right now, you could say, for the current moment. And they're trying to stop us from rising above and waking up and removing ourselves from their matrix um, configuration. Or you could take a little more of an op optimistic pro approach here and recognize that, yes, you do have this solid foundation for yourself that has been laid, that has been poured, poured has dried, has set, and is now settling before you can build the rest of your house. Yes, you've been through quite a bit. You've been through the ringer, all right? You've been through the ups and downs. You're battered and bruised. You're bleeding in places that you didn't even think you could bleed from, or you're, you've got pain in places that you didn't think you could p get pain from, but you're still going, okay? You're still moving. You're still trucking along, all right? And this devil energy here that is rearing its ugly head or that is showing itself to you is, mm, you could say it's a test or you could say it's further training to keep you in your alignment, to keep you in check, to make sure that your boundaries are set correctly, <clears throat> that they're fortified well enough, that you that there are no holes or cracks in your foundation or in your boundaries or in your defenses, yes? On the other side of the overall energy, you have none other than the Empress. And the Empress came out yesterday and it was this side of the card. This side of the card specifically is speaking to um, gestation, okay? Um, I mean, I can't logically explain to you why it's it's saying that, you know, the fact that her back is turned and she's, you know, it's almost as if she's kind of like hiding, all right? She's taking a moment to herself. Ooh, ooh, hold on. I might sneeze. Ooh. Whoa. You know, you know when like you get those sudden waves of like, it just like your whole, your whole life just stops because you're about to sneeze so bad. <laughs> Well, that was that was what, what just happened. Of course, it didn't come through, but you know what? That's okay. Okay, we're good. Um, gestation, yeah. She's taking a break. She's 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 secluding herself a little bit. She's protecting herself. She's she's in her. She's doing her thing. All right. There are things. Something is gestating. Something's coming about. And you can either look at it in a positive or a negative way. But this devil energy is here, trying to influence the situation. Again, you can look at it as the devil is trying to knock you off your path or kill whatever you're, you're trying, to, trying to build or whatever you're gestating, about to give birth to, or working on giving birth to. Or you can see it as a ameliorating, ameliorating is the word that just came out. I'm not sure if that's the right word, but you could see it as assistance, only helping to make you stronger. 
let's 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 play devil's advocate here. That's the type of that's that you could look at it that way. Okay, it, it depends on your perspective. It depends on your perspective. All right, because ultimately, think about it this way. There's a saying here that says, ultimately, everything serves the light, even the darkness, even negativity, even, even quote, evil. It all serves the light. How? Because it serves to teach us. It teaches us. You know, it might, they, they, they're uh, dark or negatively aspected uh, entities or individuals might have their own agenda that's wrapped up in their ego. But then when you step outside of the ego consciousness and you zoom out and look at the bigger picture, that is all lesson. Those are all lessons to be learned that will only help further expansion. Make sense? So you choose how you want to see it. You may not be able to change some of the actions that some people are taking. Obviously, you cannot, you have no control over what other people do, but you do have control over how you perceive situations, how you show up. So you can either look at it from a positive view or from a negative view, but either way, it's gonna teach you something, all right? So that's the best thing to do is to persevere and make sure that you're staying in alignment, make sure that you've got your, your, your defenses up, your boundaries are well in place and all that good stuff, yes? Also, make sure to keep your mind in check keep that mind in check because the devil loves to come around and start and start poking at your mind and saying hmm what but what if this happened or what if they said this or what if you fucked this up or what if you made this mistake and you see see what I'm getting at here but also do you see the value that the devil could add to your life in that sense if you were to overcome all of that. Ooh. I just saw the star. The star just flashed me. So, hey, wish fulfillment, healing, perseverance, and what? Faith. Excellent. All right, guys. All right, cool. So, let's see what we've got here. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Tuesday, October 1st, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. Spirit says five shuffles. So that's what we going to do. One. For the collective. For our Tuesday, October 1st. Two. What would you like to discuss with us today, Spirit? What's going on with the energies of the collective today? Three. What messages do you have for the collective today? Four, good golly, four, and five. All right, kids, let's see what we've got. All right, here we go. Eyes are closed. So when something falls out, I won't be able to see it right away. Tuesday, October 1st. You know, I keep seeing orange for today. We're going to do one more pass here. I keep seeing orange for today. And um, part of me is kind of like, okay, yeah, it's October. Um, orange, pumpkins, you know, leaves cha changing. Orange is a, is, a, is a color indicative of fall. But also, as I'm feeling into it, I feel there's a certain emotional connotation to it. Orange is the color of the sacral chakra, which is, um, you know, representative of the, your emotions, your emotional body, that kind of stuff, your intuition, your gut feelings. It's almost as if like your, our, our emotions are getting fortified. You actually, with this devil energy that came out earlier, you have an opportunity to really work on practicing your vibration of just feeling good. 
you know, don't allow the, the devil to, to, to push you into negative feelings. That's only going to keep you off your path. Does that make sense? It's going to keep you not necessarily off your path. It's going to keep you out of alignment with your true self, with your inner being, with your higher self, with that which you are working on manifesting, right? So it's this, uh, there is an energy right now of needing to, or, or, excuse me, there's an energy of being able to help understand how to work with your emotions, how to get back into that good feeling place, how to, how to switch between experiencing the contrast and then slipping back into your alignment with your inner being, right? That's really what the devil's energy is kind of representing, sending, re representing here, playing devil's advocate basically, okay? All right. What else do we have? I, I know some things have fallen out. I, my eyes are closed. They've been closed for the, <laughs> for the past few moments. So I can't really see what's on the table yet, but there's more. Spirit says there's more. And we're gonna, we're gonna do it just one more time here. Whoop! Okay, there's that. This is the last one. Okay, this is the last pass. Ooh, okay. All right, cool, here we go. All right, overall energy here, we have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands. And on the other side of the deck, you have the Page of Pentacles. All right. So there is definitely a new start here. Okay. Ten of Swords, Four of Swords in reverse. Then we have the Queen of Swords, the King of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. You know what? This goes here. All right. Excellent. That is excellent. This right here, the Hierophant, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. That is quite excellent right there. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. I'm going to start here. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to start here. Ten of Swords, Four of Swords in reverse, Queen of Swords. Okay, there is literally no need to meditate on this any longer. That's what I just heard. Whatever this Ten of Swords represents for you, okay? But this is the toxic cycle that many of us are releasing ourselves from. This is all of the hard work that we've been doing paying off because we're finally ready to move forward from this Ten of Swords energy or this nasty, terrible, terrible energy. You have the Queen of Swords here. All right, and the Queen of Swords back is turned. <clears throat> and so to me, what this is saying, especially with this other energy that we have that is, is connection, is in connection with, or is uh, connected to what this is here. Um, the fact that the Queen of Swords is, has her back turned is saying, cut and run, done. I'm cutting this out, I'm done. I'm not talking about it anymore. I'm not facing it anymore, it's, it's over. Move along, please, is what I just heard. And this could be you saying this to any sort of energy that comes back towards you that wants to like kind of reopen this wound or kick this dust back up or push you back into this, this cycle. i.e. that devil energy that came out in the um, in the pre-shuffle, okay? I'm uh, just trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking into it, I'm thinking, because I, I'm, I'm feeling into this, I'm, I'm trying to make sure this doesn't mean anything else, because honestly, this also could mean, with the Four of Swords in reverse, that, um, yeah, it also could mean that there is a need to rest and meditate in order to release yourself from this Ten of Swords, but that's, that's, what, that's not what's coming through here. It's time to get moving. It's time to just you know say, you know what, enough of that. Enough of that. We've experienced enough. We've learned enough. The challenges have been surmounted. You've learned your lesson. You're on the right path. You've made a choice. For many of us, we've made a choice here. And it's time to either start moving towards that choice or to keep working on the momentum. Sorry guys, I know I know that my um my necklace is hitting my mic. Sorry, let me adjust it. Hopefully that's better. Okay. Um. Okay. Hopefully.
hopefully that's better. Uh, so then let's move, let's move toward, oh wait, and then what was this? Oh right, the Page of Pentacles. Yes, you actually, yeah, you have made a choice. There is a new level that is being, that has been reached and that you're ready to continue manifesting in or manifesting through, okay? You have the Hermit, not the Hermit, the Hierophant with the King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. But it's the backside of the Hierophant in which we're getting past the dogma, we're getting past the... I'm, I keep hearing indoctrination. Um, we're getting past the lies, the secrecy, the mask wearing, the, the elitism, the, the, the narcissism indicative of this type of hierophant energy in a way, um, sometimes. Um, and getting back and getting th through to the secrets of life, okay? We're, we're, we're learning about the abundance of the feminine here. Um, and then you have the King of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles, which is a beautiful balance, okay? This is a balance of some of, of um, confidence, willpower, knowing what it is you want, not being afraid to go after it, not being afraid to like take a second and allow it to play out and wait for your right time to strike. Coupled with the Queen of Pentacles, I mean, that is abundance right there. That is another representation of the Empress energy. Okay, this is someone that's well grounded, that's abundant financially, or has 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 healed um, has healed any sort of issues with abundance or finances or whatnot, whatever. It, it, you may not even be in an energy or a state of um, seeing money or seeing finance or seeing abundance the way you did in the past, which has really helped you. Has really helped you grow and achieve more. Hi, Starling. There are these, th there's a lot of Starlings around here. Oh my goodness. Um, the Starlings and the Finches are all flying outside my window and are like trying to like land on the brick of the building. Like there have been moments, I'm sorry, this is to a total sidebar, but it's kind of weird. This has happened before, but I've never, they must be, oh my, no, there's literally, there's literally a shit ton of starlings right now. <laughs> I don't, they're landing on my building, like literally right outside my window. There have been days when I would lay in my bed in the morning and one would just like perch right on the corner of the brick and just like hang out there, be like, hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> How you doing? That was really cool. Also, um, so let's talk about that because that does feel significant. Um, I did end up looking, uh, well, I, I did look up the meanings of the starlings in the past. And they, are, they, they have meanings of uh, community, social atmosphere, social ability, social, social ability. Is that a word? Whatever. Um, and then there was a butterfly that flew by just like a few moments ago. Community, though. Star family, uh, st soul, uh, uh, soul family, that kind of thing. Um, that's kind of cool. I do feel like we're all kind of like congregating here. I like it. Welcome, soul family. <laughs> that was a total sidebar. Anyway, what I'm seeing with the her with the hierophant, the king of wands, and the queen of pentacles, I'm seeing an individual. This is somebody that has that balance of masculine and feminine energy going for them right now. That is getting past the secrecy, getting past the indoctrination, getting past the mind control, the controlling aspects of life as we know it, religion, um, university, government, all that. Uh, just kind of starting to wake up. Okay. And actually, what I'm seeing now <laughs> in this Ten of Swords, Four of Swords, Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords is facing this energy here and saying, "No, you're not. You're you're staying. You're staying there. If I have anything to do with it, you shall not pass." <laughs> All right, guys. That's cool. I keep hearing ameliorating. Someone might want to look that word up and see how it resonates with their situation, but spirit keeps repeating that in my head. So I'm, I'm throwing it out there for you. Ameliorating. Um, okay. Anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to get into the clarification section now. 
And I want to clarify the energies surrounding these situations. So we're going to start with the Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords. Ten of Swords, Four of Swords, and uh, Queen of Swords here. Holding, literally holding this negativity at bay. Saying like, look, you don't, don't even waste your time with this. Um, because, ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, there we go. Don't even waste your time with this because it's not worth it. We, geez, okay. We have the Four of Cups, the Hermit, and the Lovers. Nine of Cups, Ten of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Again. <clears throat> this is kind of a repeating message that's been coming through lately, but missed opportunities, boredom, maybe even unrequited love is influencing a big change. You have the Four of Cups with the, the Hermit and the Lovers. The Lovers representing a counterpart situation. It's also representing a choice. But on, to on top of that, it's also representing the union within, okay? The union of masculine and feminine energy within, right? The Lovers. Um, unrequited love, Four of Cups, missed opportunity, boredom. I just heard resentment, but it's this that has pushed us into this energy, the hermit with the lovers. Um, it's pushed us into this energy of self-discovery, walking our own path, feeling, and also feeling dissatisfied with the four of cups, feeling dissatisfied with your current surroundings. This doesn't have to be a counterpart situation. Um, divine partnership, twin flame, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't have to be that. Um, it could literally just be being dissatisfied with your environment, with your relationships, with your job, your career, your, your, your finances, whatnot, whatever. That has pushed us or you into this energy of finding ourselves, learning about ourselves, going on this, taking this path of self-discovery and coming into alignment true balance within ourselves nine of cups ten of wands the satisfaction okay comes from doing the work eight of pentacles persevering nine of wands and releasing the burdens ten of wands but see the thing about it is we had to go through this process let me leave these here we have to go through this process um of figuring out what the burdens were to begin with, represented by the Ten of Wands, before we can even start releasing them. And that happened through this process, the Hermit, the process of self-discovery, okay? So that has led us to this energy, King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, with the Hierophant, the backside of the Hierophant, seeing past the illusions, seeing past the lies, seeing past the dream weaving, Yes, dream weaving is actually, wow, that was kind of perfect, spirit. Um, dream weaving being mind control, okay? In, all, in, 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 in spiritual truth, you guys, this physical three-dimensional reality that we live, live in, this is the dream. The real reality is spiritual reality. That's where we all come from. That's where we're all going back to once these bodies that we're living in expire. This that we know to be physical world, physical reality, the real world, this is temporary. It is spiritual reality that is eternal. No matter how many different lives we live, no matter what happens in those lives, we will always be returning to spiritual reality. Okay, so when spirit said dream weaving, that's what this guy does, the Hierophant. He's in control, he or she, really, it doesn't matter, but this individual is in control of our minds, has been in control of our minds, has worked very, very hard to be in control of our minds. This is 
everything from religion to university to dogma to society, societal norms, societal standards, um, uh, uh, government, all of those institutions, right? That, 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 that promise us better lives and whatnot, whatever. There's another butterfly. Dream weaving. I hope this makes sense. This is the master dream weaver, at least in this dimension, this 3D dimension, right? Well, we're now we're getting past that and we're actually learning to dream, to, to dream weave. <laughs> no, to dream weave ourselves. Master manifestors. The Leo reading for October is, 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 is in, on my channel is titled Master Manifester. You might want to check that out. So let's get a little more clarity on the energy surrounding this. King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Dream weaving is so perfect. Thank you. I love that. Here we go. All right. So let's see here. What is this spirit? Let's get, get a little more clarity on the energy surrounding this. Nothing, huh? I guess we've explained it enough already. We sure have. Okay, I'm gonna stop here then. And what I'm going to do instead, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch decks. I was gonna do this anyway. I just wanted to get a little more clarity on, you know, what these energies are. This right here, but it's not necessary. We've explained it. I've explained it enough already. So now, uh, what I'm gonna what I was gonna do anyway is I was gonna switch it over to spirit and say, all right, spirit. So what do you have for us? What advice do you have for us here? So we're gonna do that now anyway. So what advice do you have for us here? And, I, and, and it's not just this section, it's everything, okay? So with everything that we have on the table here, what advice do you have for us? One last shuffle. Consulting with spirit here. What do you have for us? What do you have for us? So advice for us, please, spirit, in terms of all of this. Advice. That's enough. Right there. Okay. Well, it's a good amount anyway, so oh damn. Oh da 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 damn. Alright. Overall energy. Oh shit, it's the devil again. Overall energy of the devil. And specifically, specifically, what I'm getting from this devil energy of the overall, releasing ourselves from these chains. Releasing ourselves from the control, the burdens, the fear. Ooh, I'm hearing intelligence, using intelligence to do this. Once you realize that the devil doesn't have any control over you un unless you give them that control, unless you actively hand that control over, there's nothing they can do to stop you, right? As long as you stay in your alignment. You have the Six of Pentacles, you have the Fool, Page of Swords, Two of Swords, Justice, the Nine of Cups, and none other than the Tower. Okay, um, so right now, right now is a time to seek and to understand. Two of Swords here is saying you're not quite ready to make a decision yet. Justice here is say, I, I feel like there's still an energy of um, the scales coming into balance right now. Which is why you have this page of swords with the two of swords. It's like I, I see you or us, whomever I'm channeling for here, I'm seeing us in this energy of needing to understand a little more, needing to see a little more. There's something that's... Something that's not quite clear yet. Maybe, maybe the dust is settling still from the tower energy. Um, but also what I'm getting from the Tower and the Nine of Cups is that your satisfaction is definitely coming from the, something being dismantled. And it's all, it all has to do, 
perfect spirit. Thank you so much. It all has to do with reciprocity. For sure. Okay? That's what we're moving towards. We're moving towards a balance between give and take. It's not it's it's a situation in which we don't we don't not want to be in these energies of I'm hearing conformity, but it's also an energy of <clears throat> being taken advantage of. Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> <clears throat> Woo. Being taken advantage of. Being sold, baited and switched. Being sold some grand thing, right? That's just, as Betsy said in one of her daily readings, I think it was last week, gold-plated nickel. <laughs> you know, no more of that. Um, I feel like with the page of swords, the two of swords and justice, you're in this page of swords energy right now with the two of swords, because it's like, you're not quite seeing your manifestations yet. And yet the page of swords is an energy of making sure it's the sentry. It's the lookout. It's the scout. It's like making sure that everything is in place as and is as and is in check for your manifest for manifestations to come through to come to fruition. Okay. Okay. That's good, guys. That's really really good. Um. Yeah. Let's go to the. Oracle, we're just going to stick with the dragons this time. I really like working with the dragons. They're a pretty awesome bunch. <laughs> so let's see what the dragons have for us today for our Oracle guidance. I'm so sorry for the sniffles, guys. My allergies are just, I literally just flared up out of nowhere. <coughs> Excuse me. And my nose is itching. Good golly. I'm being attacked, y'all. They don't want me delivering this message. I'm kidding. Or maybe I'm not. Ooh. Oh, goodness. Okay. Here we go. Closing message, please. Spirit, Oracle guidance for today's reading. Oh, my God. My nose. Ugh. Ooh, that's a lot. Take them. That's only two. All right. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, you guys. So we have two cards. We have, oh, no, we do have three cards. We have Earth and Air Dragon represents a perfect balance of heaven and earth. Stay balanced, ground your vision, visions, manifest your hopes and dreams. This is exactly what we're talking about here. This Two of Swords energy is very stubborn is a refusal, but it's a refusal. I'm, I'm feeling like it's a refusal to go back to old ways. And with the page of swords here, you have that sentry or that scout or that lookout that's going to help you keep all of those energies at bay while justice is being served. At the same time, that is justice being served. So boop, -de boop, boop. Okay. You have orange and gold dragon from Octorus opens you to knowledge for the new golden age. Carry the energy of the future. Be a guiding light. Again, that's literally what's going on here. And then finally, you have Omega Dragon. Harness the divine feminine power of creation. Intention, hold your vision, birth the higher consciousness. And with this, I wanna read, I wanna read Omega Dragon. Where is she? There she is. She's a ninth dimensional dragon. Okay. Ninth dim dimensional Omega dragons carry the divine feminine vibrations of Sh uh, Shekinah, the universal energy that created our world. Shekinah is the feminine counterpart of Archangel Metatron's higher light and represents pure creative vision. 
these powerful beings are assisting the birth of higher consciousness on earth. Collectively, they hold the vision for the new golden age, and this will enable us to achieve the intention set by Lady Gaia for the evolution of the planet. These beautiful silver white dragons will also help us hold a personal vision for the highest good. Every wish starts with a thought that is translated into a picture. These dragons can see into our mind and will hold our vision with us. The guidance here is, when an Omega Dragon comes to you, it is time to give birth to a special new project, pathway, or aspect of yourself that has remained hidden. Remained hidden. Call upon these dragons to fill you with the power of the Divine Feminine. This will enable you to hold your vision and bring it to fruition in a wise, balanced, and harmonious way. Most important of all, ask the Omega Dragon to look into the greatest desire of your soul and hold the vision of bringing it to manifestation. These dragons can be any shape or size, so just still your mind and give them permission to merge with your energy. Ask them to soften your path and the paths of all who hold the vision of the new golden age. Beautiful, guys. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, don't hesitate to email me, yeah? But with that said, I hope you guys have a great day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning, yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.